I serve the dynasty. Oh, that's wild. My whispers crave entertainment. Should I divine our next step? It would have been kind of cool if she, um, her voice has changed too. You know, that would have been, been kind of wild. So, does she gain anything new from this? Or is that it? Maybe that's it. Drained. Oh, look. I still can't loot the drained farcia. That's fun, isn't it? I tread a path unexplored. Yeah, she seems the same as always. So, interested to see, um... Powers unseen uncover my path. Interested to see if anything changes later. Alright, let's get back to the ship, but... I did get the chance to do heretical. I'm now 391. Wow. I'm already pretty much at 400 out of 500 towards Zealot. That's wild. And totally worth it. Kind of a cool outcome. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> Witcher's Staff. Thunder Slam. The staff gains 10% armor penetration for every level of the wielder's psi rating. Oh, what? I have four, so it's 40% armor penetration. And then there's that, what, plus the 25? That's nice. But... I do lose the um, the bonuses that my singing spear hat give me. If I, but even though these days I'm not even using it. Weird. Anyway, let's get out of here. I'm interested to talk to her though. You know, uh, to see what difference it makes now for her. But it, it would have been it would have been kind of fun if she had like a a new voice. After she's kind of merged with all the others. What are you guys doing over here? They kind of go, woo. Okay. Cool. Um... So, for now, that's kind of it, still. Right? I have nothing else to do. Except... Talk to Adira and Jai, which I can do momentarily. Price of power. Ah! Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. We can do the Cassia one. Yes. Okay. Okay, so we'll do we'll talk to Jai, we'll talk to Adira, and then we'll do Cassia's quest. And then and then I guess we go and do we go and see the Mr. Inquisitor. Um So wait, where do we need to go for Where do we actually need to go for um Cassia? What is this? Smarugdus? Mundos. All right. So where's that? Aha, right here. Oh, it's a new system. I haven't been here before. What's the easiest way to get there? Head up to... Um, Dargonus. And then, I guess, come down. Oh, no. I think going down here to Janus and then going up here into the Ocelio Prophecy and then down. Okay, so how do I get... I'm going to get to... Basically just back the same way. Nice. Two for two. Nice. <laughs> three for three. 
Oh, excellent. Although Dargonus requires the Lord Captain's attention. What's happening on Dargonus? Why? Right. Lord Captain's presence will be required. Ew. Okay. Uh, where's Dark? Is this Dargonus? I'm actually glad I spent the points, those like warp points on um, on uh, actually making it uh, completely safe to travel between my main systems. It makes it so much easier. It makes life so much easier. All right, wait, hang on. Save. You never know what happens, right? Let's see what the problem is here. A Drakari raid targets, targets the planet and drags away thousands of people aboard their vessels. Oh. Enter battle. Okay. I guess it's just... It's the same... It's similar to the one at, at Janus. Hopefully not as hard as the one at Janus. That was an extremely difficult fight, like super hard. I, mean, I had to do so much to get to there, to get that, to get through that. But we, we made it, just about. Oh. Are you, is that it? Are you kidding me? That was it. Wow, that was so broken. <laughs> That's so broken. How did I? How does that even happen? How is it that broken? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, let's actually go to the the deck and talk to um, Jai and Idira. Usually around here, right? Yeah, there she is. Sherin, oh glorious son of dozens of worlds and billions of subjects, have you come to converse with Jai Hedari about the sweetness of her soul, or do you wish to speak to a trade representative of the Imperium? <laughs> well, does the guise of one of the most powerful people in the Expanse suit me? Hmm. You are beautiful no matter the guys, Jai. It is hard to argue against words as wise as they are sweet, Sherin. Except sometimes guys is mailed with the skin of their unfortunate owners. And the only way to take them off is to tear skin from flesh. That is not something I want. Not okay. Anymore. Um, how's your gang faring? <laughs> like you need to ask, Sherin. These Ashmags and Kashaz are tenacious. They lick their wounds faster than the Arji themselves. Tora finally got an implant for her jaw. Now she can speak properly instead of braying like a toothless donkey. <laughs> She's been recruiting strapping guys and gals too because Falco called Arex. May the Arji savage the soul of that interstellar Perona. Okay. Uh, you said you wanted to reflect on what had happened. Oh, yes, Sherin. And here is what I think. Since the day we first met, I have been tossed about like a boat in a storm. Battered, dashed against the rocks, lashed by the waves. And then I was flung onto the shore, and a fabulous gift washed up beside me. A precious pearl of the deep. The Mercatum Tabula Officiale. And you know what? I enjoyed it. Yes, I was slammed face first into the rocks, and was up to my neck in water. But I finally had a taste of freedom. Just a smidge. Just a little bit. But it was enough to make me dream of it every night. Void, crack and take the Kasbalika and the cold trade. As for our mutual business, Sherin, I will remain your loyal partner if you desire. An equal partner. Hmm. Uh, this is your choice to make, Jai. All I can do is support it. <laughs> then it is decided. Starting today, I will sail toward the future I choose. What a thrill it would be to ride the waves wherever they want to take me. Okay. 
Ow. Jack's communication device lights up, indicating an incoming message. She gives you a polite nod, looks away, and focuses on the message that is being transmitted to her combied. With each passing moment, her expression darkens. Then she cuts off the transmission uh, with a nervous gesture. What was that about? Uh, nothing important, really. Just a small commercial matter. Since when do small commercial matters make you so nervous? <sighs> Fine. Maybe it's better to let you know. Uh-huh. Oh, come on. Really? Right now you stop with the voice? Okay. Shireen has received, received an important message. Mercy and Mission Circle want to see me. Quite the honor. Jai smiles, but you can sense an alarming... Uh, the alarm lurking beneath her usual cheery faca facade. I won't lie and say it's completely safe, but perhaps you won't mind coming with me. Of course I'll come with you. Thank you, it means a lot. It won't keep you away from important matters. Uh, oh, oh, right now. Ah, uh, sure. Okay. Cool. I thought it meant like another quest objective. I didn't mean we realize we're going to go there now. Ah, here we go. Tense faces turn towards you, the faces of people who are hard-nosed, hard-fisted, and hard-hearted. The cold traders maintain a differential s silence, which is broken only by the hiss of the smoldering Io roll-up being smoked with relish by a dark-haired, aristocratic-looking man in a sumptuous coat. Oh, it's Takara. Okay. <laughs> Flodam tossing a sidelong look, sidelong look at the regal-looking stranger in the dry and solemn intonation of a priest declares the seats have been claimed. Now discuss the trade. Jai, her face frozen into a battle mask, glares at the dark-haired stranger, responds with a subtle, patronizing smile. Survey the people. The peddlers of the cold trade sit in meek silence. When the dark-haired man's gaze casually falls on them, their heads drop lower. Jai, with her chin raised, seems to be the only refutation of this man's absolute superiority, but her strained expression makes it clear that she is not unaffected by the presence either. Stranger exudes aristocratic hauteur. Hauteur? He takes drags of the fragrance, I don't know how you say that, Leo Io, with visible gusto. His fingers idly playing with a button on his jacket, and from time to time, smiling en enigmatically at his own thoughts. It sounds a bit crazy, if you ask me. I have come to inform you all of how you'll be doing business henceforth. <laughs> I advise you to listen. Uh, I'll just nod at Jai. Quiet Vox took you all. Chengars. No. Ch Chegnars. Schaefer, rogue trader, on Valantius, has come to our meeting to ensure that her interests will not be harmed. Greetings, your ladyship. This is Mercy. I am Mercy, the organizer of this gathering of upstanding and entrepreneurs. Enterprise. Enterprising. No, enterprising. Enterprising men and women. The jubilation that was engendered in my soul at the news of your visit was not overshadowed even by the host of questions it raised. Primarily about how your interests came to lie in such a close proximity to ours that I was granted the honor of seeing you at a meeting of the mission's highest circle. Questions arise and are resolved, and the wise should not darken their hearts with them. The circle will hear Jai. Oh, go does her full name. Mercy pronounces all your companions' names with deliberate meticulousness, never taking his laughing eyes off her. Okay. I am laying claim to Falco's business, his territory and his crew. He tried to take mine and he lost, so now I'll take his. And I want the circle to endorse my claim. Is that so? Frowning, Mercy exchanges a look 
with the other cold traders, as though reading some kind of answer in their glassy eyes and shakes his head. Can the circle agree to that? After all, Falco's sentence was not handed down by us, but by you alone. Does that mean now... Uh, does that mean that now you speak for us instead of us? A dangerous proposition. Okay. Zero percent chance on commerce and coercion here. That's really bad. Uh, Jai, perhaps you have an argument to support your claim. Jai takes a deep breath. You did not stop Falco from robbing me. You did not stop him from killing my friends. Has the Circle voted for my removal? Not as far as I know. Either you admit that you allowed Falco to break the rules, or you have to act like they still matter. According to the rules, Falco was out of line and I punished him on your behalf, let's say. So this trade, so sorry, so his trade is my trophy and the Circle's reward for my trouble. Mercy's laughter, velvety and appealing, causes Jaya's brow to furrow in torment. You listened well, Shireen. You found yourself accused and you cast an accusation in return, a logical move. Awareness failed. Well, I had like a 13% chance, apparently. Uh, but what the vo- but what vox will pick up your voice in the void? What friends will repeat J Jai Hadere's words spoken here? The rogue trader? No. What friends in the organization you have none, though you did once? So, though you once did. Still zero on these two. That's awesome. Okay. Give Jai an encouraging smile. You're not going to let them fleece you, are you? Do you have a backup plan? The ease with which you read my heart frightens me, Shireen. What's she going to do? Just shoot the guy? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Pretty much. The crashing sounds of doors being kicked in and screams fill the room. The sharp tang of burning... Visaline hangs in the air, the cold traders freeze, giving the barrels pointed at them their full attention. As an old familiar expression appears on Jai's face, the look of satisfaction the look, look of a satisfied predator. Mercy, do you remember what you always scolded me for? You are too quick to deny the thought that you might deserve something, Shireen. That's what you said. Thank you for the lesson. This time I will not be humble. Falco's contracts are mine. Falco's crew is mine. Speak if you disagree. The rest of you, at ease. Oh, he shot the table. I was going to say, did he shoot somebody? But I think he just shot the table. Only short and bloody songs are born to the sound of weapon fire. You think you can force. The whistle of a bullet that flies just past Mercy's ear makes him swallow the rest of his florid speech. Uh, have you got the message, Mercy, or do you still have objections? <laughs> Clamping a new EO Leo roll up between his pearly white teeth, Mercy coolly replies, I am not an idiot. I am not going to argue with a rogue trader and a loaded auto pistol. Logic failed, damn it. A strange calm comes over Mercy. Faced with facts he cannot change, it seems he has simply decided not to trouble himself with any feelings on the matter. Wow, my persuasion's zero as well. Damn it. Um. Do I deal with this or do I, um. Because I can strike him, tell him to disappear. Leave a wound from a memento. I can kill him. I can just say that he shuts up. Why is everyone so terrified of you? I can't see it. Well, I do know this victory dance. In matters of, in matters of the heart, defeating one's opponent is not enough. One must humiliate him in front of his beloved. Jai, are you subtly impressed? Enough to fuel tonight's passions. Jai, this one needs to die. See to it. <laughs> Strike mercy. I'm going to do this one. Disappear from Jai's life. Bonk. 
His expression unchanging, Mercy says nothing as his eyes bore into yours. Strike him again. <laughs> I did not hear your answer. Hit him again. I would not dare to refuse your ladyship. I suspect you have many more equally compelling arguments up your sleeve. I do. Live, but do not ever let me see your face again. As long uh, and a long life to you, your ladyship. I do believe we can consider this meeting closed. Most certainly. The circle approved Jai's, Jai Hadari's claim. Our trading is concluded. The representative of the mission at my station undertakes to ensure that he that the interest of Mistress Hydari will not be harmed. Okay. Well, I hope she's satisfied. I uh, take it we're done with her, just to make sure. Ah, oh, Sherine! The burden of a trade representative of the Imperium is a hefty one, especially when said representative is dabbling in the cold trade on the side. Whew! It is exhilarating, as if everyone suddenly became allies and enemies at the same time. So how are you doing, oh precious apple of my eye? Uh, yeah, looks like we don't have anything else left. Okay, good. We can we can leave. Oh, I. Bay. All right. And then was it Adira's down here? Of course, she's always down here. Next to the randomly dead servitors, which was never really explained why <laughs> why this servitor's dead here, but he always is. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he annoyed ja uh, Adira. When Adira sees you, her lips curve into a smile and she nods at something over your shoulder. Adira, how are you? Not regretting your decision, are you? <laughs> Lord oh. Captain, I never had any other choice. You opened, uh, no, my, my, yes, you opened my eyes. I'm no longer scared of what's behind the door, because now I know for sure. <laughs> I know nothing can threaten me when I'm with you. Thank you. Um... I will always help you, Adira. The Lord Captain will never guide you wrong. Won't guide me wrong? No, won't guide me. Why should you be the one guiding me when I can guide myself? Yes, my little whispers will guide you however you want. Just tell us. No, don't tell us. No, you should think for a minute. Now or when? Maybe you already thought tomorrow. Let me look for it. I just... <laughs> um, I think we created a maniac. Um, mm, <laughs> okay, I um, I'm gonna take my leave. Of course, always at your service, whenever you need me. That sounds funny. That sounds like it's the the normal voice line for her instead of this crazy nonsense voice line that she's got. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, well, we created a maniac, um, and I think we deserve it, so, you know. I, I'm, I'm just a little bit sad that she didn't get, like, some kind of crazy power boost. Um, that would have been cool. You know, if she'd just got, like, some, like, uh, really awesome uh, effect and condition here all the time, but she didn't, which is... I mean, it is what it is, right? You can't, you can't win them all. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, it's what it is. Ah, uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Hmm. Hmm. Because what do I have here that's actually going to be any good for me to pick up now? Because I'm tempted. I'm tempted to try and look at getting um, Santic powers instead of uh, maybe divination. I mean, I, I suppose I could drop the divination stuff. 
So I take Divination here. I could take, let's say, Santic Powers right there, for example. Um, yeah. I could. Take Santic Powers here instead of Divination. I would lose the ability to wear the staff. But let's be honest, I'm not using the staff now anywhere near as much as I used to, mainly because I keep forgetting to swap to it. But uh, I don't use it that much anymore. Then I could just, for this one, I could just drop regeneration. Just for now, like not, not permanently, just for this particular level. Then I could grab, because actually, let's have a look. What, what's, where is it? Uh, Jai, you're a good guinea pig. Come here. Damn it. Hang on. I have to cancel that. Then, here we go. Here it is, Sword of Faith. I keep calling it Sword of Light. I don't know why it's called Sword of Faith, isn't it? But anyway, same thing. The Psychic Power costs 15 momentum. Okay. Can only be used when you're at 175. Okay. Um, yeah, so we need... Oh, we need Hammer or Light. Hmm. Ah, okay. So it's a pr it's a pretty big investment. It's a pretty big investment. So I need Santic powers. Then I need uh shield of the emperor. So then I need to buy shield of the emperor. Then I need to buy hammer or light. Then I can buy sword of faith. So that would be, wow, that would be a lot, wouldn't it? That would be a, that would be a lot of, um, that'd be a huge investment. That's four. Is it four? One, two, three. Yeah, four. Four. Yeah, shields right there. So four. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Hmm. So. If it cost me four, I mean, I'd basically just have to replace Biomancy with it. Uh, actually, when do I pick up my first Biomancy stuff? Isn't it like the beginning of the... Oh, it's the beginning of the game, isn't it, I think? Did I not pick it, like, right here? Yeah, I think I picked Biomancy right here. Because, keeping this the same, I think Warrior is fine. Vanguard, I would replace. I'd have to replace, let's say, Divination and Warp Speed, so that's two. And then Regeneration, and then I could pick it up here. So I, I would better get it now. Um, but I would be losing Regeneration. I'd be losing Warp Speed. One, two, three, four, yeah. To be fair, Warp Speed's Probably, yeah, I think the warp speed's the only one I really care about there that I'm, I would be losing. I don't care that much about, um... Um, I don't, I don't care that much about regeneration. Regeneration's nice, don't get me wrong, it is a nice ability, but I don't care about it that much. Whereas this, MP, agility, and additional AP, that's pretty big. Right, that's pretty huge. I do like... I like this one. Hmm. It's just whether or not... I mean, I could, what I could do is, here... Get rid of this. Invigorate. Get... Uh, Santic Powers here. Grab... Shield there. I could still grab warp here. I think. I think. I, I think I could still grab warp speed here. Because I don't think warp speed requires anything, except a certain level of uh, psi rating, which would be the same here anyway. Then exemplar, I would put. I don't know. Let's say light. So I could still heal people. Actually, I could still heal the entire team. Actually. Then, here I could pick up sword. And then, 
I'm in here, I get another ability. So like my final ability, I could get Invigorate back, or I could pick... I don't know. I could pick something else. I could pick Regeneration back up if I wanted to. You know? Um... Because at this point, I don't even know what I would pick here. What am I going to pick? Metabolic overcharge. I don't really see the... You, you, this one, you just take constant damage, right? Making them suffer 5% of their maximum wounds at the end of each turn until the end of combat, which is huge. For like for what one extra move? Again, an extra turn. That's it. To take like five percent extra, like five percent max wounds damage every turn, and then it's like every action the target makes during this extra turn also triggers the damage. So you take a ton of extra damage during during the move, and then every turn afterwards until the end of combat. I don't really see why he would use this. For a single additional turn. Yeah, I don't know. That seems pretty extreme. I mean, regeneration I could always get right at the end again. Or I could just get invigorate back. Um, but it just depends. You know, it really depends just how... I don't know how good this sword's going to be. You know? It, it might be rubbish. Somehow I doubt it. Because I feel like here, whatever I'm going to pick is something I'm just not going to want anyway. You know? Like, I don't need any of these. Not really. And I don't want, I don't need the foreboding or the perfect timing or the precognition. I don't think I need this stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't even know what I would pick here. Thinking about it. Hmm, is it worth it? I think it might be. So I could use the sword now. I would lose the ability to wear this. Right, but most of the time I have my normal sword. Like I just have my my single force sword equipped anyway. Um, so it wouldn't make a huge difference. Let's do let's do these guys first while I'm thinking about it. Um, and snare. So it's a trap on a free cell. In a ten cell radius around them, any enemy entering the two cell radius around the trap activates it. Oh, cool. They suffer direct damage and must pass an agility resistance test. Or they get a penalty. And also oh, they must pass it or they become immobilized. Oh, okay, okay. I actually quite like that one. Let's do that one. Um What do we pick here for her? Toughness? Get it to forty, I guess. There we go. Oh, my favorite sniper, Pandora. What have we got? What can we do here? The assassin attacks uh, and grants a 40% dodge to the target for this attack. The target, if the attack hits, it deals an additional damage. Round it down. Blah, blah, blah. Hmm. The dash is in a straight line up to 1 plus agility bonus divided by 2 cells. Suffering minus assassin's weapon skill bonus less damage from attacks opportunity. Okay. It's Killing Edge. Assassin... Oh, that's such a shred, that one. Sorry, that's that one. Assassin's single target attack will have a minus 50% arm penetration penalty. With a minimum of zero arm penetration and plus 10 lethality. Okay. 
If it is a ranged attack, its target is forced to move to the closest cell in a three cell range with no adjacent cover facing toward the assassin. This move provokes an attack of opportunity. Um, honestly, all of these are kind of bad. I don't really like any of these. I guess fainting attack, fainting attack, sorry, I guess. Why don't we do that one? Uh, I, I mean, I'm not convinced, but, um, you know, it is, what, it is what it is. Let's do ballistics. Let's get ballistics to 60. It just does general, just does general ranged, yeah, ranged weapons. That's fine for her. Cassia. Um, I got... It's this one I wanted next, right? Yeah, point, spot of apathy, that's correct. Yeah, yeah. All those who fail are stunned or immobilized. Immediately gain an extra attack where they attack their allies. Perfect. Um, I really kind of want to put one into fellowship here just so I get 100 fellowship. I don't like the way it's at 99. Um... accurate. Perception here would also be nice. Get 95 perception, although it's not going to make any difference. Right? Not really. Um, let's do it anyway. Screw it. Jai, my maniac. My maniac. Okay, what, what can we give her here? Stratagems. I mean... I'm okay with the one I have, and then getting a random one each turn is also fine. Oh, sorry, each each combat is fine. I could give her light, the Emperor. We could also just throw her some Pyromancy. What does Biomancy grant her immediately? Anything? Does it get her anything at all? Oh, it gets that ability, that's right. We could just give her Pyromancy. Or maybe give her this. Purge souls. I mean, light would also be kind of nice, though, too. She could heal. Hmm. Purge would be nice. Pyromancy? Maybe just Pyromancy. Maybe we just give us some fire to play with. Um, Willpower's 120. Oof. Nice. I don't know. Willpower? More willpower? <laughs> I mean, just more? Yeah, yeah. More willpower. Screw it. Makes it easier to buffer with them. Um, inspiration from Jai. To get her to uh, to level her up to ninety or whatever it was. Okay, what have we got here? Anything useful? Further. The master tactician suffers direct damage. Okay, then gains master tactician's resolve stacks of tactical advantage and resets the cooldown of inspire, linchpin, and strong point. Hmm. What does linchpin do? Gains one resolve every five stacks of tactical advantage the Mass Tactician has, but the Mass Tactician loses half of their stacks. Oh, so that's a good one for giving us a ton of resolve. Two temporary wounds, and one for every two stacks of tactical advantage. Okay. Until the beginning of the Mass Tactician's next turn, whenever the target loses temporary wounds from damage, the target gains momentum equal to the number of temporary wounds lost. Hmm. Oh, hang on. Until the beginning of the Mass Tactician's next turn, the Mass Tactician gains stacks of tactical advantage equal to 20 plus Mass Tactician's Fellowship bonus percent of all momentum the target gains. Hmm. Actually, Strong Point's kind of nice, though. Let's do Strong Point. I like Strong Point. Okay, so... Is that Fellowship stuff? Uh... Um, new. Okay. 
Is she fellowship based? I can't remember now. What do I want to give her? Perception to 50 maybe. Or ballistic skill to 80? Yeah, let's do that. I like that. Let's do that. Okay, everybody is done except for me. And I am not sure. Out of curiosity, I'm just going to take Santic Powers. I'm just going to do it just to level up. But I think what we might do is... Uh, I think almost certainly what I'm thinking of doing is I might just respec. I'm going to go for weapon skill here to get above uh, 70, so I get an extra character bonus. There we go. Yeah, plus 7 now, which is kind of nice. So... What do I gain as a new ability? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I already get word of the Emperor? Hmm. Okay, so I already gain word of the Emperor just for free, right? So that means I only need to invest... What would it be? Um, what does this need? Again? It just needs... Oh, this just needs... No, no, no. I was right. I was right. Because I still need shield, hammer. Let's say shield, light, and then sword. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Alright. So I still need to go like... I don't know. Santic here. Uh, shield here. Um, warp still here, so we get the warp speed for the biomancy. Then we go light. We could go light here, um, just so we keep uh, we keep the ability to heal, right? So we can heal everybody. So heal light of the emperor would go here, and then sword of faith would go here. This one, and then. On this final ability, right up here, I could either pick Invigorate again, or Regeneration. And arguably Regeneration is better, because it's a heal till the end of the game, end of the combat. Invigorate does more straight up, but Regeneration is just better overall, because it lasts for the entire fight. And Invigorate only removes a negative effect if it brings them to full health, whereas Regeneration just does it anyway. Just does it anyway. Um, I mean, arguably, you know, Invigorate does heal for more, but... What is it? Willpower bonus divided by two. So here, Willpower bonus is huge. Okay, I mean, I'm at 50. It's five, right? So I guess it rounds it down. So it would be two. So four plus two, six. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, of course. It says <laughs> it says six. So yeah, yeah. Obviously, it rounds it down. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, ideally, I could do with more willpower, couldn't I? At some point, how did I end up with so much agility though? In the end, I don't know, but I did. Yeah, and it, it just it just all comes down to whether or not this thing is any good. I tell you, I'd still be a biomancer, right? Ish, <laughs> biomancer, a biomancer Santic. Uh, it would be nice if it showed you the. Um, uh, it'd be nice if it showed you kind of what it does, the sword, like how strong the sword would be. A single attack and an area attack like two handed swords and can be used to release a cone of fire or a line of fire like a flamer. That's cool. The damage of the sword is the same as that of Purge Soul with all the same bonuses. So it deals direct damage. Ah, okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so the, the, uh, the damage of the sword is the same as that of Purge Soul. So Purge Soul deals one. 
uh, sorry, from one plus Psyker's Psy rating, which currently is four plus one, so that would be five, times Resolve. Currently six, divided by four. Okay, three, never mind. <laughs> um, sorry, what would that be? So five times uh, three? Okay. No. No, divide by four, not... Okay, I'm going mad. Sorry, it's not. it wouldn't be three then, would it? Because resolve divide by four. <sighs> okay. So we're psycho -psy rating plus one, it's just five. Plus one is six. Times resolve divided by four. So it's going to round it down again, right? So it's one. So it'll just be like... Six. Six times one. <laughs> six, six times one, I guess. Is that is that right? Yeah, must be. No, that's it can't be one. Am I going nuts? I mean I oh, say I mean currently yes it would be one. Because uh, divide by four, it's like what one point something per, per 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 thing, right? So it would round it down, so it would just be one. So it'd be yeah, it'd be six, four, five, six, six times one, so just six, I guess. Or and then two, four times psy rating, psy, uh, psy, uh, psy rating plus one. That'd be five, nine, times one. So it's still nine. So I'd be doing, <laughs> I'd be doing between like what, six to nine damage. Um. Six to nine damage. Wow, that's awful. <laughs> that's actually, that's actually the worst. Six, six to nine damage. That really is that what it would be? That's just bad, right? Damage is increased by fifty percent against Xenos. Fine. One hundred percent against Chaos Worshippers or Drakari. By one hundred and fifty against Demons, and by fifty if the enemy has already been damaged by the Psyker or any of the Psyker's uh, uh, allies in this combat. These damage bonuses also affect any damage bonuses from other sources. Okay. So, does this stack? So, if I'm fighting a Xeno and I've already damaged them, would I then do 100% extra damage to that Xeno? Curious. But 6 to 9 damage is pretty bad. Right? And I suppose, I suppose until if I stack, if I just took, get tons of resolve, we would actually get ridiculously strong. So I guess the idea would be you stack resolve. Which... Uh, wait a second. Is it... Does this give... Oh, okay. So that gives resolve anyway. So we are, we are actually stacking resolve, aren't we? So we could just keep word of emperoring ourselves <laughs> continuously. Uh, until we just get the sort of... The sort of Force of light, sort of force. Uh, can't remember the name. Sort of faith. I was wrong on both accounts. So eventually we got like a ton of resolve, and then it would be a lot better. I mean, because just getting this to eight would double our damage essentially, right? Because it then would be four, five, six. It'd be six times two instead of just six times one. Which is already huge. Already huge. Ah, uh, mm, I mean, it's tempting. It really, really te is tempting. And I kind of really want to give it a go. <laughs> I very much want to give it a go, actually. Um, so, yeah, we're going to think about that. Okay. Uh, right, sorry. I was trying to go to... I'll think about it and maybe do it next time. 
I might dip. I might do it off off recording so it's a bit quicker. Is there a path we lost to? Is that that's your let? Whatever. Uh, that's also your let stuff, I think, right? Nobody else got any quests for me. No. Oh, okay. Ah, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Let's go into that zone for um for um Cassia. So let's go. Yeah, I I, I really just want to get that. I really want to get that sword to go. Just see how much damage it would do. Uh, it's here. Right, okay, so we could go there? Ow. Have we seen this one already? A fire broke out on one of the decks during the warp voyage. The raging disaster consumed the entire chamber, destroying, destroying precious cargo and damaging the interior plating. I think we've done that before, so we'll just move on. Uh, does this mean I'm already mining it? This, if it's got the little... The little mining symbol on it. Let's have a look. I want to um, I want to increase my phlogiston and my uh, adamantine if I can. Yeah, so grab me that. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, look, look. Is this extractable? Oh, it's promethium though. I mean, I don't need promethium, but still. Oh yeah, okay. I am already mining it. That's fine. Not ex not explored, really. According to the ancient chronicles and maps handed to you by the pilgrim, this icy planet used to be a pro prosperous imperial colony. However, a sharp change in its trajectory brought upon the warp anomaly raging in the system, it caused the world to distance itself from the local star. In less than a decade, the planet's surface was completely encased in ice sealing a wealth of machines and artifacts of the Imperium inside a glacial tomb. Uh, use the Augus to scan the planet. Either the Pilgrim played a practical joke on you, or the power of your Augurs is insufficient to penetrate the endless layers of ice encasing this world. Scan the planet using augmented Augur components. Behold the truth. New rumor. It looks like the Pilgrim's records, records were true. Your Augus managed to locate the, sharp, the shapes of several Imperial buildings under layers of snow and ice. Though one can only guess what purpose they used to serve. Develop a plan for changing the planet's climate without support from the Imperium. Another new contract. Or, sorry, a new contract. After deliberating, the senior officers unanimously decided that the only Adeptus Mechanicus that only the Adeptus Mechanicus possess the technologies required for a project of such a massive scale. The rogue trader should contact their representatives in the Coronis Expanse and secure future cooperation. Oh, really? So, wait, 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 wait. Uh, contracts? What is this? Melting the ice. Expense. Five Promethium. I have loads. One for Logiston, which I just got three more of. A great. Complete contract. The rogue trader has turned the sublime minds of the Magi Explorators. May they implore the blessed machines of the Adeptus Mechanicus to melt the centuries-old layer of ice, encasing a lost and forgotten Imperial world. Uh-huh. 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 Uh, um... Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Did I just, did I just spend all them, all that stuff on contracts for no reason? Uh, I feel like I got, I feel like I got ripped off. I'm not gonna lie. I, I do feel a little bit cheated. Oh, hang on. The Explorators offer prayers to the Machine Spirits as they prepare for this unorthodox planetary scale mission. So do I have to wait for a little bit? And then come back later? Maybe? So maybe, okay, maybe I gotta come back later. Because I still have that quest to, um... To take over a new planet, to make a new colony. And I kinda wanna do that. But I don't know how to do it. I haven't found a suitable, um... 
I haven't found a suitable place to do that, unfortunately. Don't do it. Don't Ooh, nice. It didn't do it. Awesome. All right, so we've got to go here. This is... This one's going to be pretty risky to, to hop through. Should we make it unsafe? Eh, let's make it unsafe. Okay, fine. Do it. Oh, okay. Coronus Expanse Region of Celio Prophecy System. Entry A201.48.66.10. Chronometer turns si since the incident. Enforcer, witness Ida on 00110101. Yeah. <laughs> You claim that you left the Sanctum na uh, Navis on the Lady Navigator's orders. Affirmative. This unit acted in accordance with the maintenance protocol TRN-08353. Step 1. Sense the sacred mechanism uh, mechanisms for the duration of 15 chronometer turns. Step 2. The enforcer interrupts. You failed to inform the bridge about the imminent jump. I want to know why. Data unavailable. The Lady Navigator ordered that she'd be, she be connected to the Void Ship, but she did not order the preparation of the Machine Spirits for warp translation. Cause, a ritual that cannot be identified by the unit's cap uh, capabilities. This unit received the command to interrupt protocol and exit the Sanctum Navis. Okay. Uh, servant. No, please, not the fingers. Oh, great. The, the Enforcer. I'm going to break every word. Sorry, I'm going to break one for every word of a liar here coming from your mouth. Now talk. Please, you have to believe me. All we did was prepare the canvas and mix Lady Navigator's blood into the paints. Then we were told to lock open the shutters so that the Lord Captain could see everything that was going on inside the Sanctum Navis from the observation chambers and... I'm guessing... Uh, oh no, this is the enforcer. Grox poop. <laughs> Armor glass can't shield you from warp horrors. Maybe I'm not afraid of warp horrors, Mr. Enforcer. How about that, huh? The servant, I, I swear, it on my soul and the golden throne, Master Enforcer, the Lady Navigator only wanted to paint a picture for a ritual of some such. That's all I know. She wasn't going to use the power in her eye, but I still got as far away from there as I could. That's all I saw, I'm telling you. Okay, so more chronomancer turns. Sorry, chronometer turns. Well, that's a nice picture. I like this one here of um, of Cassia, the senior enforcer. Oh yeah, we got a, we got a, uh, it got escalated. We performed an emergency warp jump, barely activated the Gal the Geller field in time, and are now being dragged into throne knows where by an unknown force. The Lady Navigator and the Lord Captain are still unaccounted for. Now tell me one more time what transpired in the Sanctum Navis. I escorted the Lord Captain to the observation chambers and yelled at the servant for leaving the shutters open, but then I was told it was on the rogue trader's orders. We could only see the, the Lady Navigator clearly. Sorry, we could see the Lady Navigator clearly through the uh, armor glass. She was lost in thought, staring at the canvas in front of her. She looked like she was completely unaware of the world around her. Soon the servants were ordered to leave the Sanctum Navis and the Lady Navigator picked up her brush. Entranced, she started dragging it across the canvas, painting one image over another, one another, and another one over the last, and another, and then the Lord Captain noticed it. There was a thing on the other. Ah, uh, There was a thing on the other. Dash to the control panel. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> I'm there going on the other dash to the control panel. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Am I just being stupid again? Yeah, I am because I have to scroll down, and then I can read the rest of the sentence. So let's let's but let me do it again. There, <laughs> there was a thing on the other side. You see how that makes more sense? The picture, covered in a layer of fresh blood, was coming to life. The lady navigator was oblivious. That is when the Lord Captain. Um. dash to the control panel. I didn't dare stop her. I just watched. Bolter at the ready. The machine spirits went mad and the doors the doors and the shutters started opening and closing at random, but the rogue trader managed to dart inside. Startled by all the noise, the lady navigator turned around 
and then those horrors in her painting, they broke free. And what happened next? I, I barely remember a thing. There was a bright flash, a purple blur. I remember feeling so scared that my knees were shaking. I remember my legs carrying me away, like they had a mind of their own. As I ran, I heard screams behind me. The Lord Captain and Lady Cassia, they... Oh, God Emperor. The creatures, they pulled them both inside the painting. Sir? Mistress, uh, Mistress Voxmaster. I have a report that needs to be delivered to the senior officers. The Lord Captain and the Lady Navigator were lost during the emergency warp jump. Their whereabouts are still unknown. I am sending you the interrogation reports. End of recording. So that'll be it for this episode. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.